The software can be launched by double clicking the desktop icon or single clicking the system tray icon. The software works on the concept of dragging and dropping either pre-made commands or your own custom commands onto the buttons of the device. Popular commands can be found on the shortcuts tab. The keys tab contains all the keys on a keyboard. The favorites tab is for storing all your favorite commands and the custom tab allows you to create your own keyboard input commands. To edit the default profile, simply click and drag the command onto the button callout, then click apply. To create your own command, click the custom tab and then create custom command. Type the command name in the name section. Hover over the command bar and type on your keyboard the command that you want to perform. If you highlight over the mouse icon and click any mouse button, it will appear in the list. If you want to remove any aspect of the command, highlight it and press delete on your keyboard. If you want to add an icon, click the browse button. When you're happy, click OK. This will create the icon and allow you to drag and drop it onto a button on the mouse. So far we have been editing the Madcat's default profile. If you want to make more profiles for games and applications, click the arrows to expand the interface. Click the Create New button to create a new entry. Left click it again to type in the name that you want for the profile. Then hit Enter on your keyboard. When the profile menu is visible, the command icons area will be compressed. Right click inside the area and adjust the slider to view more icons. Now drag and drop your commands onto the buttons and when you're happy with the commands click apply. This will activate your settings on the mouse. You can also view and apply your custom profiles by right clicking the system tray icon. The settings tab allows you to tweak other aspects of the mouse. The LED sleep timer will determine how long the DPI LED remains on for after a status change. A lower value will conserve battery power. Precision aim can be used to improve your accuracy. Increase the value with the slider to slow down cursor movement when the precision aim button is held down. Click and drag the slider to set your desired cursor speed. There are two DPI levels on the RAT M. They can be switched by pressing the DPI cycle button next to the scroll wheel. Turn link axes off to alter X and Y axis movement independently. The DPI cycle function can be turned off. This will lock the RATM into one DPI level. However, it will also mean you can use the DPI button as an additional programmable control. Make sure that after each settings change, you click the apply button. The support tab contains links to additional support material to help you get the most out of your Madcats product.